All right, so right here we have Mike Hayes versus Music King. I'm going to run over and do some tournament stuff. I'll be back in a second. So right here we got Mike Harris versus Mewtwo King. Obviously we got Smashville again because apparently all the tournament long, this is what I've seen as a stage strike, first first level every time. I don't know those of you that remember, but uh, you know we did, we were, did some stuff with Evo last year, and uh, it ended up being finals of Mewtwo King versus. Actually, was it finals? Mewtwo King versus uh, Mike Hayes. I think it was winners finals, and it was an incredibly good match. We actually showed off, uh, you know, his mark that was pretty effective in, in the Meta Knight matchup, so we'll see what he can pull off here. Both obviously in K percentage, they're just looking for uh, kill moves. There we go, Mewtwo King gets a good shot of loop, and uh, he should be able to edge guard this easily. Or edge hog it, where he doesn't even need to guard, I guess. Alright, so Mike's looking to regroup, get a quick air here. Um, and obviously, any type of smash, up the out of the shield, any type of up tilt. There we go. We should release this to a forward smash and takes me to King stock and uh, pretty much knocks this one up at one stock gone a piece. And uh, I'm sure you guys have found this no, but those of you at home, Mewtwo King did win brawl doubles, melee singles, melee doubles. So if he wins brawl doubles, he, he pulled off the pretty much perfect of, you know, first in four tournaments here. All Smash tournaments are, you know, certainly impressive, and I'm sure he's going for it, and he doesn't expect to lose ever, so. He definitely was rocking some Johns from Apex that he had to go back from playing Brawl to Melee back and forth uh, as being a reason. So this tournament we made sure to do Melee yesterday and Brawl today, so. There'll be no Johns on Mewtwo King's part if he doesn't get a first here. Mike's just trying to space, obviously, uh, trying to avoid all Mewtwo King's, uh, you know, aerials, certainly he comes, likes to come with the forward air. There was another charge, the Terry smash, the charge down smash by uh, Mewtwo King, and there we go, it was a nice edge hog, he takes down Mike's second stock. Mike goes for the shield, ooh, that was a nasty, went for the shield breaker, missed it, and then he went forward air and upbeat out of the forward air as soon as the animation ended. That's some new stuff, I haven't really seen that from a lot of, you know, ball players anyway, it was pretty nasty. Unfortunately, you need more than that to uh, beat Mewtwo King, and there's, ooh, I guess there's not, Mewtwo King, um, you know, makes not even a customary mistake, he normally doesn't pull that stuff up and ends up getting up these spike by Mike Hayes. Mike Hayes goes for another upbeat. And his lead made this one respectable. If he gets a quick kill on Mewtwo King and, you know, does some damage or uh, plays well in third stock, he, you know, can still win this match, obviously. So, goes for the grab release. It looked like a grab release, I'm um, sure, hop up there, but I couldn't really tell. The animation cl clash really quick there. There we go, Ruppy. And there he takes it down, Mike Hayes. Last stock, game one, Mike Hayes versus Mewtwo King, winner semifinals. So uh, we're going to bring you this match, and then we're going to switch it to some players. We're definitely going to finish this match up first. It's real tight here. Mike Hayes has you know, got some momentum going. It looked like he was going to lose this one for sure. And then E2 King missed an edge hog. <coughs> there we go. Mike's going to go for him, grab release. Probably do an up air. Ooh, third air and no DI by Mewtwo King. And Mike Hayes pulls the upside here in game one from the crowd. There's definitely more Mike Hayes supporters than you see Mewtwo King supporters. And uh, Mewtwo King quickly goes to Brent Star trying to raise the, raise the taste of defeat right there. 
Looks like there's a bit of dispute. Maybe this is Mykeza's ban. Um, I guess we're trying to figure that out right now. I guess it is Mykeza's ban, so that's why Mewtwo King can't pick it. He's going to have to go a different stage, like with Rainbow or another historically strong Meta Knight stage, pot potentially the Fino. So it looks like Mike um, on Brinstar, it wasn't that he banned this, he probably banned Rainbow. Um, but it is advanced slob, so he had the option to switch characters after Mewtwo King selected the stage. So he's going Warrior. I really haven't seen much from uh, Mike's Warrior. I've heard it's pretty strong, but uh, you know, obviously he's pretty much known as a Marth main. But uh, so far it seems to be working out with him. I know there's a lot of good you know, Meta Knights on the West Coast. Not quite Mewtwo King Meta Knights, but you know, Tyrant, Terabay, they're both, you know, arguably, you know, two of the top three Meta Knights in the U.S., certainly, you know, two of the top five or six Meta Knights in the U.S., so we should have a lot of experience in this matchup. Ooh. There's another nice move by uh, Mike Hayes to uh, get his recovery, and the shuttle loop bounces off the bike. Saw a little bit of grab game. Another mistake by Mewtwo King by not following that for throw. If he's going for a grab, at least it just doesn't work on Wario. Mm. Neutral air. And there we go. We get a lava spike into a down air from Mewtwo King, and he takes Mike Hazy's first stake. First, first stake. <laughs> I guess I'm hungry or something. First stock. There we go. A nice fart by Mewtwo. Mike Hayes, well timed on the side of the you know Brinstar, takes out a stock and evens this one up just as quick as he lost his. This has definitely got to be a moral victory, I think, for Mike Hayes at this point. If you could have given the option to uh, be one stock in and be knotted, having to switch off Marth to Wario on you know Jason's counter pick and Mewtwo King's counter pick with Brinstar, he would be happy about it. So you know it's a pretty good match here. Jason goes from the grab up air combo. There we go, that uh, down there just breaks through Meta Knight's shield. It looked like it wasn't gonna get there, but I think on the last um, last hit center, last hit box of the animation, ended up hitting him and breaking through the shield and knocking him away. It's good because Mewtwo King was obviously waiting for a grab there or just a shuttle loop out of shield. Gets him with the forward smash, gets punished with lava afterwards, but they're pretty much not at 100 stock here. Um, Wario can, you know, probably feel better at Meta Knight on this stage. Not probably, probably can for sure. Um, you know, the forward smash. He's got options with the fire. The up air is going to feel pretty good here. Now they're just picking their spots, trying to space while we see a lot of walking or a slow approach. Mike Hayes went for the foot right there, but uh, he guess he got caught with the bottom of that down smash. So it means he's not going to have another one powered up for another minute and a half or two in the parts. Ooh, but he crashed him with the foot there. Ah, wow, people are getting a little hyped here, but uh, there he goes, that stock just as fast as he got it, and we're, you know, that even, one stock apiece, game two, Mike Hayes, game one. So here we go with it, about 30 cent piece, um, you know, 44 for Mike Hayes, 50. There's me two King putting together some strings, some aerials into a NATO and then into a grab, into a NATO. 
Mike Hayes is trying to slow this one down a little bit. He got kind of caught in those combos. <laughs> Just, you know, Mike is playing incredibly intelligent. He doesn't want to misspace anything and caught with it in a down smash or any type of aerial. There's neutral air, and that will do it. Looks like Mewtwo King takes game two. We're going to game three here, not at a 1-1.